your own sports blog or website, we've developed a seven-step guide to help you along the way. Today we're going to focus on setting up hosting and WordPress on a hosted account. There's two different types of way, ways to interact with WordPress. One is through WordPress.com where um, the service is free but you have no ownership of your site and as such you really can't do advertising on the site and uh, there's a lot less flexibility um, but if you're just looking to kind of test out WordPress and get a flavor for what it's like or if you're just communicating on a small scale to friends WordPress.com uh, might be a perfect fit for you on the other hand if you're looking to really monetize your site over time and, and include advertising and include ownership and have a lot more flexibility um, regarding your site, then WordPress.org is the way to go. Uh, and that's what we're advocating in this approach. So we're going to focus on setting up hosting and uh, WordPress. So the first step is to go to Google and type in how to start a sports blog. And as you can see, what pops up first, at least uh, as of today, is uh, our little introduction guide. So go ahead and click on that, and you should come to a page that looks like this. And so this page outlines the complete seven steps, but we're going to focus in on steps four and five, which are setting up your blog on a hosting service and installing WordPress and deciding on the theme. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go down and scroll down to step number four and click on Bluehost. So Bluehost has uh, been the host for Sports Feel Good Stories for uh, over six years, and we have nothing but great things to say about it. Uh, very professional, great customer service, uh, quick with answers, and very reasonably priced. And because of the volume that they do, uh, there's no concern that they might be going out of business in, in any time in the near future. And so there, there was just a lot of positive things about Bluehost when uh, we did our initial research. And every interaction with them since then uh, has led us not to change our opinion in, uh, in the lease. So go ahead and click on Bluehost. And, and you'll, you'll see kind of a, a platform of different offers. But if you're just starting one website, um, the way to go is... Uh, with the the starter package. So with the starter package you get one URL for your website. So if you have a website name in mind and it's available uh, you can go ahead and plug it in when you sign up. And you also get up to a hundred email accounts. So let's say that your website name that you've decided on is www.victorynow.com. You can choose to have emails like editor at victorynow.com or sales at victorynow.com, customer service at victorynow.com. So you get the idea. So it's kind of a nice uh, service that in addition to getting the website up and hosted, you'll, you'll also have a, 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 a new emails associated with your website. So when you sign up, uh, in this case we signed up for the starter 36 month package, you'll have you'll face a choice on whether or not you want your name and phone number to show up in the directory of all sites. You pay extra for the privacy. Um, quite frankly, I just never found it to be that much of a hassle. I really don't get too many calls or uh, emails as a result of it. Uh, and so I usually don't sign up for it, but it, it's your call. So you end up signing up. And then when you go to uh, a Bluehost, you'll want to click uh, off of their panel on the hosting area up by the top uh, red arrow and make sure you're under cPanel. And then you'll go down to Website Builders and click on WordPress to install WordPress.org. And when you get there, your site that you signed up for, so when you uh, sign up for your account, you'll also sign up for your URL. And it should show up on a page uh, shortly after you've clicked uh, the install WordPress. Uh, from there, you want to make sure, and this is a part that's easy to forget, is to click on Advanced Options before the install. And when you click on Advanced Options, it's going to give you a chance to name your site, uh, but also to include your own admin username and your own password. So if you don't click on the advanced options, those will be assigned. I think the default admin username is admin, 
but the uh, the password could be something far different and, and very complicated and maybe not easy to remember. So uh, so I always make a point of plugging in my own password and, and, and make a point to write down both your admin username and your password for now so you'll have it for quick reference in a few short minutes. So after you've done that, it'll, it'll move to kind of a wait screen that will look something like this. And when your install is complete, uh, you'll see in the upper left-hand corner that the message will shout out, your install is complete. Okay, so from there you can open up a new window and in the address bar at the very top, right, you're going to type in your new URL. So again, if it's Victory Now, type in www.victorynow.com and then put a slash wp-admin. And this will enable you to log in. So with the uh, login information, the username and the password that you had written down on the piece of paper, go ahead and log in. And you'll come to something that looks like a, uh, a WordPress dashboard. Uh, this one is from a site that's a little more complete, but um, you'll, you'll come to the dashboard and then kind of set that window aside to maybe open up a new window. And uh, from the uh, Sports Field Good Story guide, you can click on Studio Press. And at Studio Press, one of the things you're going to want to do is kind of go and shop and find a theme that will go over the top of WordPress uh, to make it uh, much more complete and much more polished than your standard WordPress um, themes that are available. So organizations like Studio Press go and hire you know, top-notch designers, folks who know their fonts and know their graphics, and they piece together these themes uh, that, that work not only well from a graphic and aesthetic viewpoint, but also from a search engine optimization standpoint. And so one of the things I always like to do is that in this day and age, you really need to be in a mobile responsive theme. With more and more folks accessing the internet from smartphones and tablets, uh, what the first thing I click on in the filters is mobile responsive. And then I kind of take a look at all the themes that are available in mobile responsive. I find one that I like and, and really, you know, you can change the colors and, you know, and the logos and stuff will change. What you want to look for in a theme is something that you like from a general formatting standpoint, because the closer you can get, the fewer changes you'll need to make down the road. Okay, so you end up purchasing a theme. Themes usually go between $59 and $99. Uh, you have an option if you're going to de be developing a lot of websites to, to buy the complete package, which is usually a, a great deal. But if not, just pick out one theme that you like and, and you'll see the price and, and, and go from there. So after you've purchased the theme, the theme, you'll typically download it in a zip file to your desktop. And then you'll, you'll go to Appearance and Themes on your WordPress dashboard. And if you see the, uh, the right red arrow, you'll see where it says Add New. Uh, you're going to add uh, a theme. And so with Genesis and StudioPress, typically you end up adding two themes. One is the parent theme, which is kind of a standard for all of the themes sold by StudioPress. And the other is the child theme. And the child theme is different based on the theme you select. And so you'll, you'll upload both those, and it'll literally only take like a minute. Uh, but you'll upload the parent theme, and then the child theme, and then you'll activate the child theme. And from there, your WordPress site that was very um, rudimentary, in, in, and again, in a few short minutes, uh, can be very polished looking. So fr from there, what you'll end up doing is following the directions um, that Studio Press will provide on how to get your theme uh, up up to snuff with what you saw when you first looked at the uh, Studio Press examples, and so they'll they'll walk you through different steps where, where where you'll make changes to settings, you'll add photographs, you'll add your logo, and and this whole process can take a little bit of time. There's uh, forms at Studio Press to help you with questions, um, but it's very doable for the average person that just has any technology sense at all. You don't have to have had any previous uh, website experience. Um, and so it's a, it's a great program and highly recommend the WordPress direction. It's really the way that most websites are being developed nowadays. So 
there you have it. So for the rest of uh, the story, to find out the complete seven steps, go ahead and check out the uh, Sports Feel Good Stories, How to Start a Sports Blog. Thanks.